Here is a method for profiling a gear tooth with Fusion 360. Knowing that this software does not support drawing curves given analytical expressions, the method proposed here consists in placing a few points by calculation and by geometrical construction. These points can be interpolated in order to obtain a good approximation of the curve that would have been obtained by the analytical method. The profile of a gear tooth is the beginning of a spiral, more precisely a circle involute. It is the path taken by the end of a taut wire that is unwound from a fixed cylinder, for example. During the first three minutes of this presentation, Parameters are introduced into Fusion 360. For the sake of readability, we will use these parameters during the geometrical construction. Among other things, we have the characteristic parameters for normalized metric gears. Module, pressure angle, addendum, didendum, number of teeth of the gear wheel, pitch circle radius, base circle radius. The angles alpha and theta will help placing the point on the involute at the pitch circle level, and alpha out and theta out at the outside circle level. Four other parameters will allow sampling some additional points on the involute. It is up to you to check their values if you want to do further calculations. Each of these parameters can be modified later, the modeling which will follow will be automatically adapted by the software. We start the layout using Fusion 360 by creating a sketch that will contain all the radii, segments and arcs needed for the construction. We start with an arc of the base circle, then an arc of the pitch circle, then an arc of the outside circle. Making them overlap slightly to the left will later allow us to build a gear tooth directly centered on the vertical. RB is the base circle radius. Using the pre-calculated angles prepared during parameterization, three points are already obtained on the involute, those at the left end of these three arcs. RP is the pitch circle radius. RP plus HA is the outside circle radius. The angle entered here, 90 degrees divided by Z, corresponds to half the width of a tooth, and also half the space between two teeth. Note that this angle is misplaced, but it will be corrected during the last 30 seconds of this talk.
it should be placed opposite the radius from the pitch circle and not from the base circle. The error in no way compromises the rest of the construction. The radii and angles now constructed make it possible to fix the point on the involute at the pitch circle level, and that one at the outside circle level. Both are now in their final position. A horizontal line segment is drawn in order to obtain a fully constrained sketch. The three main points of the involute being fixed, we will now locate some additional intermediate points by geometrical construction. These points are located on the path described by the end of a taut wire unrolled from a fixed circle, as said at the beginning of the talk. A few radii are drawn, on each of them a tangent segment is hooked. The segment length is that of the arc from the origin of the unwinding on the base circle to the point of tangency. The exercise is quite repetitive. We get the final result of the drawing at time 11.30.
I am bored. I know, I am a synthesizer. Nevertheless I am bored by this part. The result seems conclusive. The 11 drawn points are well positioned on the curve we are trying to follow. To finalize the sketch we draw an arc of the gear root circle. Its singular amplitude is half of the space between two teeth. In the next talk, by mirroring we will be able to construct a complete gear tooth as well as a complete space between two teeth of the gear wheel. It's time to save our work. We had noticed an angular position mistake earlier in the talk, we are now correcting it and taking the opportunity to fully constrain the sketch. In a future presentation we will exploit this sketch by taking advantage of its parameterization, in particular the parameter Z corresponding to the number of teeth of a gear that we would like to model. Thank you for your attention. Smile icon.